my channel and today we will be doing another free base e-juice review but this time we'll be having pandemic e-juice to be featured today. Now we have three flavors currently but they are working on another flavor which is mentholated. Well, it's still not disclosed yet but we have four flavors soon to be up but we have three currently and I would like to um, give thanks to um, Boss Elvin, Boss Richo, Charles Ron Soto Sanchez, and of course the owner and maker of Pandemic Key Juice. This is Ron Ryan Ang. And a quick shout out to Smoke's, Smoke Brothers Vape Shop. So let's get on to our packaging. And for the packaging, we have three flavors. So we have three different colors of the packaging. So let's start first with COVID. So since you have known that brand is Pandemic, we have three flavors and the flavor names are based from the three pandemics that happened overall within our generation. So we have COVID which is known today as what's going on and the flavor for COVID is merengue and the color of the packaging is bright yellow and a bit of, I think this is orange going towards red. And then the brand is there, flavor is there, as well as the flavor itself down there. So on the sides, we have the warning logos, we have the indicator of the nicotine content, the VGPG content, and the Smoke Brothers logo. So on the other side, there isn't much left to be announced there. Now. Um, this is 60-40 ratio and this can be used for mods as well as on pods. Since we have 60-40 ratio content, we also have this under 180 pesos SRP. And we have three nicotine content variations that you can choose from. We have 3, 6, and 9 MG and these are all true rated. So what we have right now is for COVID and... Nope. COVID and SARS, we have 6MG and we have 3MG for flu. This is just so that we can differentiate the nicotine content or the hit on the throat for 6 and 3MG. And let's do the taste test. So first flavor that we have is COVID and the flavor for COVID is merengue. So I'm expecting this to be sweet. So let's give it a sniff test. It smells so sweet, but with a hint of merengue. I am so confused with the smell because of the sweetness. So let's give it a taste test. Yep, mm, that's sweet. Yep, that's sweet. And it gives you that itch on the throat, especially when you do it on a direct taste. So I'll just give you a quick show that it actually is yellow. Yeah. It's color yellow as well. Yeah. Still too sweet and too itchy on the throat. So let's give it a try. For today's gear, we'll be using um, Gato Crafts Buhi. And we also be using on our atomizer, this is Guillotine V2. And for our build, we have 3.0 mm. And it's five loops. And we are using um, flat colossus wire. So there we go. And let's try. It. Let's also talk about how the um, flavor or the branding comes in. But let's talk about that later towards the end of the video. Yep, that's 6 mg alright you guys, that's true rated and it's really giving you that scratch on the throat and <clears throat> you can really feel the nicotine content right there but for the flavor itself, it's still sweet, it still tastes like merengue and another thing that I've noticed is that when you vape it in and when you exhale it, it still remains the same. The flavor is consistent even when you vape it out or when you exhale the flavor or the vapor. So let's move on to our second flavor. We have SARS. 
there we go, SARS. So for SARS, this is their fruity flavor and this is cool berries. So I'm whenever I try mixed berries flavor for fruity, I always check what is the base flavor of their berries. So sometimes they base it on blueberry, sometimes it's based on a raspberry, or sometimes it's based on grapes. So let's see what their flavor base is for SARS or cool berries. So This smells like mixed berries, but what I can smell from here is I think this is based on grapes. I would say mostly grapes, but with a hint of all the other berries as well. So let's give it a taste test. Yep. Yep, as expected, it is going to be based from grapes as what I'm expecting. And the berry flavor as well is there. It's sweet, but you also get that hit on your throat when you try to directly taste it. So let's try vaping it. Flavor is still there. As expected, we have consistent flavor from inhale to exhale. But the thing is, when we say cool berries, I was actually expecting this to be mentholated. But if it is mentholated, I would rank this on the low level of menthol. Maybe it's because the nicotine content overpowered the flavoring when it comes to the menthol side. So berries is there, nicotine is there, but for cool berries brand, I don't say that it is mid to high menthol so maybe it is with a hint of mint but it's really on the low side level yep now let's move on to our third flavor we have flu there we go flu so for flu we have custard ry4 and as mentioned earlier on the video we have two Three, oh, two 6MG and then one 3MG flavor and this is our 3MG variant for flu. So when you say custard RY4, I'm expecting this to be like sweet caramel taste with maybe a hint of cream for the custard side. So let's see. Yep, that's sweet. First sniff, it's sweet. And that's what I can smell. It smells like caramel and the sweetness of caramel is there. But also the nicotine, I don't smell it yet. Maybe it's because it's 3MG, but still guys, this is true rated. So let's give it a direct taste. Yep, <clears throat> that's sweet. And it tastes like caramel, but again, I would lean towards the caramel or the RY4 side rather than the custard flavor so let's give it a try on the vape let's see if it would make a difference and a quick disclaimer guys i have tried this previously with fresh cotton and this has been changed every day just so that i can check the gunkiness and it isn't gunky to be honest look this is how it looks on the cup. This is with all the flavors tried and let's see. Okay, so <clears throat> I still say that this leans towards the caramel side rather than the RY4 but you get that hit for 3MG content for Nick. That's good and Another thing that I mentioned, or at least I would want to mention, is that for RY4, usually RY4 flavored e juice 
comes in with another flavor that comes with it. But this time, I'm leaning towards our Y4 side rather than the custard because it's too sweet. And we are down to our favorite and least favorite flavor for pandemic key juice. But this time, I would say my favorite flavor would be COVID because the flavor is there, the sweetness is there. You can taste everything about merengue also. The nicotine content is good for me for 6MG because 6MG nicotine content can be used as well for pot. I have tried to um, vape it as well with my Aegis Boost for 64 key ratio and it's good. It also gives you that hit of your nicotine but still is different from when you use it from Salt Nick. But still, this free base can be used for your pot and my least favorite flavor I would say would be the cool berries maybe it's because I was expecting it to be more mentholated than it is and for the berry side it's good but I would say that the cool from the brand of cool berries is not met I would say so for my um, quick review for your uh, Custard RY4, it's okay, it's good, it's there, but still, I would prefer using COVID rather than buying food. And let's talk about the branding. So, most of you guys would be curious why pandemic is used, why the pandemic um, coronavirus was there, the COVID, SARS, and flu. Some may say that this is a negative side for their marketing because of course it's not something that we can take advantage of maybe it's because of what we are going through right now but i would say that this would be a click to the market because first if you hear a brand of e-juice saying covid of course you'd be curious how it would taste so it is good for marketing strategy for pandemic e-juice and Please don't think less of the brand. You can also try the vape juice. It's not that bad. It's not something that you are looking down onto. And yeah. And that's it for today's review, guys. Thank you so much for uh, Charles, Ron, Santo Sanchez, as well as for Boss Elvin and Boss Rachel. And of course, last but not least, thank you so much for Ryan, Ron, Ryan, and for giving us the opportunity to do a free base e juice review for a pandemic and for sponsoring the video. And a quick shout out to Smoke Brothers Vape Shop. Thank you so much, guys. You should check them out. I'll be putting their links down the bottom just so that you can as well do maybe order or you can try their flavors. And thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please click subscribe and follow me on my Facebook page. I'll see you guys soon.